Hello and welcome back to another Unreal Engine tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to add a camera shake to a camera and using the sequencer. In the Unreal Engine 4.26, we had a change on the camera class and that caused some confusion because the camera shake that was working previously does not work anymore in the Unreal Engine 4.26. So let's get started here in the sequencer. You can add a new camera actor. So under camera component, you can clearly see if you click the track, the plus button here, the plus icon and click on track, you can see that there is camera shake, but those items or fields are actually empty. So that means we have to add a camera shake. So in order to do that, you can create a folder called blueprint but this is totally up to your organization and then right mouse click and what you want is select create a new blueprint class when you select that you can click down below here and then type in camera shake and if you do that you can see that there are several new uh, classes you can select from but the latest version you really want to use is the so-called matinee camera shake which you can find here just select it click on it you can of course uh, rename the new blueprint class and call it my camera shake 001 so once this is done double click on it and when you double click on it you can clearly see here that the so-called oscillation duration pops up. You have then rotation, location, uh, uh, changes you can, to, uh, you can do also on the field of view. But what I usually recommend is first of all in the duration, this is the time, how long it's going to last. Make sure that it covers all the frames you're working on in your sequencer. I just add here a thousand, let's compile it. And then in the location, that's the shake on the camera location itself. You can change here the amplitude and the frequency. And also what you can do is I set here a value from, let's make it crazy, 10 and 10. And um, the waveform I set to Perlin noise. So once you do that, that's all what it is. You can go back to your camera actor, as you can see here. And then again, click on the camera component, click on track. And now on camera shake, you can clearly see now, whoa, there is my camera shake 001. So click on it. Now you can see in the timeline that this camera shake is assigned from frame zero to frame 150. And if you click the play button, you can clearly see that the camera shake started and it's effective. So because it's all in real time. You can go in and change, of course, the amplitude or the frequency. So as crazy, you go in the frequency, you see like this is a chitter effect that goes uh, quicker. Uh, and the amplitude is also like the waveform and the change from the class is called, um, the new blueprint class is called Martini Camera Shake. If this Unreal Engine tutorial was also helpful for you, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to release more helpful video tutorials. And if you subscribe, you will get notified immediately. Thank you so much and happy pixeling. Bye bye.